Vessels and red blood cells are found all over our body, so they're needed all over our medical presentations. Do you need a drawing of a vessel or red blood cell but don't want to spend a ton of money on an expensive program to draw it? Well, you don't need to. You just need PowerPoint. Yes, that's right. Here's a video to show you how to make a professional looking red blood cell and vessel with PowerPoint in just two easy steps. So the first step is to make a circle from which we'll derive all of our blood cells and all of our vessels. So go to your insert tab, go to shape, choose circle, and make a circle. Now we're going to make this red because we obviously are making red vessels. And we'll get rid of the outline on the circle because outlines tend to make your things look two-dimensional and we really want a nice three-dimensional object. So let's start with red blood cells. How am I going to turn this bland round red circle into a beautiful red blood cell. Two things are needed. First, we need that depression that we all recognize in red blood cells. And secondly, we need to make it look three-dimensional, give it some thickness. We can do both of these with just one tool. If you go to the Shape Effects menu and go down to Bevel, and you choose this bevel, it's called Slope. And you can see even just looking in the Shape Effects menu and the Bevel menu, this kind of looks like a square red blood cell, so we'll choose that. Now we'll adjust this bevel to make this look more like a red blood cell. We'll start with the top bevel. The top bevel will determine what that central depression of the red blood cell looks like. We'll start by adjusting the width. Increasing the width of the top bevel will decide how large that central depression is going to be. The height of the top bevel will determine the depth of that depression. See, we can have a pretty good looking red blood cell just by adjusting the top bevel. However, if I rotate this, go to the 3D rotation to show you a different view, turn it to the side, you can see that uh, it's actually pretty flat. So we have a good two dimensional blood vessel, but it doesn't look good in any other plane. We can give it three dimensions by giving it more depth using the bottom bevel. So now we'll adjust the bottom bevel. The height of the bottom bevel determines how thick your red blood cell will be. So you increase the bottom bevel to increase the thickness. The width of the bottom bevel determines how round that thickened part will be. So as you increase the width, you can see it kind of round out that red blood cell. Now, we have a pretty good red blood cell. Now, we'll put it in multiple different planes because we'll give it a tumbling look as you would see with the blood. So I'm gonna copy it, Control C, Control V, and we'll adjust the 3D rotation. I'm gonna put it in a couple of different planes, you know, because flowing blood is gonna have all different, you know, kinds of orientations. So let's do some different orientations. We'll do maybe this one off to that side. Maybe another one. Facing a little bit up that way, but not quite all the way up. And you can actually also adjust it kind of on your own, um, just using this rotational tool so that you don't have to use just, you know, the default settings that PowerPoint gives you in terms of the 3D, you know, rotation. So now we have kind of our flowing blood. Um, so now we need to make our vessel. So I'll take one of my blood cells and I'll copy it. Now we'll increase its size because the vessels are going to be much larger and the blood cells found increase in size. Now in order to give it some depth and to give it that hollow effect, I will increase the height of the top bevel and that's going to increase that depression so much it becomes a tube. So increasing it, increasing it, increasing it. You can see how it's becoming more and more tubular the more I increase that height and turning from a red blood cell into a vessel. So here we go, making it more and more vessel-like. Now we've got a great looking vessel. So we can make it even more three-dimensional by giving the shape a gradient. So now you can see it looks like it's actually very hollow there. And we can put some more red blood cells in here so it looks like they're actually coming out of that vessel. If I really want to give it a good effect, I can even put a 
background behind it to really make it glow. So I'll make that shape black, get rid of the outline, and send that to the back. And now we have a great 3D vessel pouring out red blood cells, just making a circle and adjusting the bevel. One, two, circle, bevel, gives you vessel and red blood cells together. So I hope you go out, make some creations, and have some fun. If you like this video, you can like or subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Teach Play Prep because what more is there to life than learning, living, and eating? Thanks so much.